What's going on, on YouTube? So, got the new NVIDIA Shield TV, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, whatever it's called. Um, it has Google Play on it, and I went on to Google Play to download Modern Combat 5 because I was playing that on my other uh, Android box. And for whatever reason, you can't get the Modern Combat 5 through the NVIDIA Shield on the Google Play. Um, the other option was to go to the stream or the Blizzard account and to download it that way. However, if you do that, you have to launch it every single time that you want to play it. So if you have any save progress, if you have anything that you've built up, um, every time you launch it, you're basically starting from scratch. So there is a way to download and to play Modern Combat 5 on NVIDIA Shield and save your progress and keep everything. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright. So let's get started. Okay. So first things first, you're going to need two apps. Okay. So these apps can be found in Google Play. So we're going to go to the Google Play Store, and from Google Play, we're going to type in ES File Explorer. I typed in ES, and it popped up right here. So we're going to click on that, and then we're going to install that. I already have it installed, so you would have to click on the install here, and it would install. The other app is the TV Draw app. So we're going to go back to our search. And if I'm going too fast for you guys, just pause the video at whatever spot you need to. So we already downloaded ES File Explorer. The next one we need is the TV Draw app. So I'm going to type in TV and right there it comes up TV draw app click on it hit the install button which will be right here and then as soon as that is installed we're gonna go back out to the home menu so hit the home button and you'll notice you'll have ES Explorer on your home page and you'll also have the draw app right here. So the VS Explorer, you'll have the draw app. Now you'll notice that I have Chrome and I also have um, Aptroid, I think it is, Aptoid, Aptoid. You'll notice I have these two. You're also gonna need these and I'm gonna show you how to get those as well. So you're this is also a way to get the Google Chrome um, app on your your home screen as well as Aptoid. So now that we have ES File Explorer installed, we're going to go to we're going to go to ES File Explorer. We're going to open that up. From here, from this window, we're going to go to Settings, click on Settings, Search Engine Settings, right down here. So click on that. And then you'll see search engine settings up here. Click on that. Go down. And you can either put Yahoo, um, Amazon, whatever. I put Google because that's what I use, especially when you're on Android. I use Google. So click on Google. And that's going to set your search engine to Google. So go back. back again now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a favorite so normally you'll probably it'll probably look like this right this is what you'll see so you're gonna come here to where it says favorite you're gonna hit this little arrow button down come here to where it says add click it and then in where it says path you're gonna type in H T T P and 
colon forward slash forward slash google dot com then you're going to name it you're going to name this google okay so it should look like this http colon forward slash forward slash google.com name it google then click add okay it says bookmark has is created successfully so now if we look over here in our favorites section if we go down we should see google right there see i I, had, I already had it installed, that's why you see two Googles. So I just reinstalled a new bookmark, basically. So you're gonna come down to where it says Google, you're gonna click on it, that's gonna bring you to here. This is gonna bring you to the Google search. From the Google search, we're gonna type in Google Chrome APK Pure. See, I already searched it, so that's why it's coming up automatically. So Google Chrome HPK pure click on that it's gonna bring you to here so right here Google Chrome APK pure.com click on it again come down here to where it says download APK and click on that scroll down download APK 6.64.1 MB click on it download now and now it's going to download it and that's going to give you Google on your home page as well so now after I get downloaded this I'm going to want to go to open file and install click install And just let it install okay once it's app is installed we're gonna click done then we're gonna go back you can just push the Google button if you want that'll reset the page and then we're gonna type in app toy right here a p t o i d e type in app toy click app toy home that's going to bring you to this page here then you're going to click install aptoid click on it click download now and let it download again open file and install going to ask you, do you want to install it? Yes. In, hit install. So it's saying app not installed, and that's probably because I already have it installed, but yours should say um, app installed, and it should say open and done on the side. So when you're done, you just hit done. Then we can go out to the, the home page, so hit the home button. That's going to bring us to the home page. And you should see either in your home page, it should be here, or it'll be in your, your app drawer. Now, some of, some of these apps, um, when you go to install them for the first time, it'll give you a box and it'll say, um, it'll say apps from unknown sources. And when you hit settings on it, it'll, It'll say apps from unknown sources, and then it'll give you two options. It'll say cancel, or it'll say settings. Now, when it when you hit settings, it'll bring you to this page right here. And you actually, with the NVIDIA Shield, you actually have to physically uh, select it in order for it to download. But then once you select it, it should take you right back to the install page. Again, I already have it installed, so it didn't give me that box. But if you do get a box that says apps from unknown sources, um, the, if you hit settings, it's going to bring you right to this page. 
and then you have to manually verify each individual app. Okay. Now, once they're all um, installed, you should have it on here. If you don't have it on here, you can click this button right here, add to favorites, and then look for. I'm sorry, it's not it's not that one. It's apps. Look for apps, and then it should be in here. And then what you would do if you wanted to add Chrome, you would just long press it, and you would say um, move. And it should say move to favorites, or you can move it and bring it up closer next to your apps. All right. So now, if you don't have it up here, the other way you can do it is through your apps, or you can go to your app drawer, and you'll see Chrome there, and Aptoid here. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into Aptoid. Open up Aptoid. Then we're going to go to search. Then we're going to go modern. Modern. Okay, so I'll, it showed up for me. You might have to type in the whole thing Modern Combat 5. But right there is Modern Combat 5. Right here, click Modern Combat 5. And see, I already have it installed, so I don't have the option to install it. I have the option to open it. Um, but I'll just show you guys. I have all of my saved data from when I was playing originally. Um, I also, on my old box, I had it connected to my Google Play services, the Google Play games, whatever it is. I linked that. So... Because I linked that, I was able to bring all of my um, my information, all of my weapons, all of my uh, the stuff that I unlocked. I was able to bring that over to the Nvidia Shield because you can link two devices. So I would suggest before you bring it over, you know, if you haven't already, to link it to your Facebook or your Google or something like that. That way, all your saved progress can come with you. If you're playing the game for the first time, then when you when you come in to the game, you're gonna want to go. Oh, I already backed out. Um, so I had Google Play Games, and through Google Play Games, I was able to bring over all of my information. Let's try launching this again, and I'll show you guys real quick how to um, how to do that with the Google Play games. You install the Google Play game app if you don't have it already, and then at this page, you go up here to where it says settings. You go to your settings gear icon, you go to connect, and then right here where you, where it says disconnect, yours will say connect. And then when you connect, it'll connect it to your um, to your Google Play services, or you can connect through Facebook. I do Google Play services. I don't I don't know about Facebook. I don't know. I've never used it, so Google Play services is the way to go for me. All right. Just to show you guys real quick, if you go to Google Play Games, and then if I go back. Type in modern. See what I mean? Type in Modern Combat 5 and it's not here. Google Play doesn't have it for the NVIDIA Shield. Now other Android boxes it does. But for whatever reason the NVIDIA Shield doesn't have it on the Google Play services. Aptoid does, so you just got to download and install Aptoid. So that's the way you do it. If you have any questions or anything like that, comment below. Please like, and if you find it helpful, share it for others so that they can 
use it as well. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.